What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope you're excited because today we're ripping into a mega box of 2022 Series 2 hockey. Uh, these you can only find, I believe, at Walmart. I don't think you can get them at hobby shops and stuff. And the reason I picked this up because you guys can see they're finally marking this stuff down. Uh, this box ended up costing $34.92 before tax. So that's probably the cheapest you'll find these unless you find them from a secondhand source. Uh, you can see that they're $56.92 beforehand, which is way overpriced for these because these are basically just a better tip. In. As you can see, we'll be getting eight cards per pack, ten packs per box, and that pack, that tenth pack, is the bonus pack. So really, nine packs for thirty-five bucks. Still not a tremendous deal, but it's the cheapest you'll probably find. We got the top guys in the background. We're looking for Sire. We're looking for McTavish. We're looking for Raymond, Newhook, Mercer. Same old guys. Yeah, so I'm excited to rip into another mega box. It's kind of an impulse buy at Walmart because I haven't opened a ton of these mega boxes. So we'll see if we can get one of the top guys today. Thank you so much for all the support lately, guys. We are so close to 900 subscribers, so please slap that, sub that subscribe button. Uh, really appreciate it. Drop a like on this video. It helps me reach a wider audience. And comment down below uh, if you were able to open any of these mega boxes lately, if you were able to scoop up any of these deals. Make sure you follow us over on Instagram and whatnot at Erk Sports Cards. And yeah, let's rip into a mega box of 2022 Series 2. So we got our nine packs plus the bonus pack. Honestly, you're probably just better off saving up for a retail box uh, rather than buying one of these. But we'll see if we can get anything good today. Okay, bonus packs. Looks, looks like we'll get a red William Eklund. Uh, I think that's a gold Ross Colton and a bronze Mason McTavish. So yeah, nothing spectacular there. I right, should be getting two young guns with a 25% chance at a third. Hopefully we can get three today. Looks like we'll start with one. Come on, let's see McTavish today. Uh, I really like Mason McTavish. Uh, it doesn't look like McTavish. Uh, who is that? Niels Lundqvist, decent defenseman on the Dallas Stars. Uh, doesn't have a ton of hobby upside, but a solid NHL player. I'll take a Lundqvist. Okay, pack number two. What we got here? I can't really tell. This could be a base pack. Base packs are possible in these mega boxes, and it looks like that's what we get. Pack number three. Is this a canvas? Nope. OPG update retro. Marky rookie at William Eklund. Pack number four of the Mega Box, flying through this. Uh, what we got? Uh, I can't really tell. Something's stuck here. I can't really tell if it's a base pack or if there's an insert hiding in here. It is an insert. A superstar on roll there. Uh, Boris Kachuk. Yeah, nothing crazy. Okay, next pack up. What do we got? It looks like a base canvas of Rasmus Dahlin. Okay, we got another Young Guns yet. Doesn't look like it. Looks like first, this is another canvas card. Looks like another canvas card. Base canvas. So two base canvases in the mega box. This one's Cam Fowler. So since we got two canvas cards, I think it's unlikely we got three young guns, but I guess you never know. Uh, looks like we got young gun number two coming up. So hopefully this one can be good to make this mega box worthwhile. If not, we're hoping for a third. Uh, doesn't look like it's any of the top guys who we got. Max, it's well Willman there. Another not great one. Uh, hopefully we get a third one or else this mega box is going to be a bit of an L. All right, two packs to go here. Hopefully we can still get a third Young Guns. If not, this will probably be a pretty rough mega box and we'll start with an update OPG of Philip Deneau. Okay, last pack magic here. Please give us a third Young Guns. And we did. Ask and shall receive. We hit the 25% chance. So hopefully this third one is somebody of note. If not, going to be going home with a pretty rough set here. Who's this? Blue Jacket? Okay, so that's not bad. That's definitely our best one we've got. You or Chinnikov, first round pick to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Doesn't have a ton of value right now, but has some upside if he can become a top six player for the Blue Jackets. Overall, I'll take a Chinnikov. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a mega box of 2021-22 Series 2. Overall, I'd recommend either getting a tin or um, a retail box if you don't want to get hobby. Uh, we did get lucky and hit the three young guns, but nothing crazy. The Chinnikov's nice. The Lundquist is nice. But yeah, overall, not a ton of value for what you're paying. I'd recommend either going with the cheaper version of the tin because you still have a 75% chance at getting two young guns or I just save up for a retail box. That's my personal opinion because these mega boxes are weirdly priced they always have been but yeah let me know what you guys think of mega boxes down in the comments below make sure you slap that subscribe button thank you all so much for watching today's video take care everyone have a good one